Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. As I continue my quest to film every Debatoon watch ever made, today we discuss the extraordinary and extraordinarily rare DB25 Contiem Perpetuel 44mm in white gold. This perpetual calendar, originally launched back in 2011, represents one of the most intriguing combinations of romance and practicality in the complication catalog of De Betun, the timepiece. Wonderfully blazoned with a real hand guilloche rose lathe dial, fits easily on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist. Let's talk a little bit about the lug fit, because this is not the De Betun floating lug system that you've come to know. Uh, this is a wonderful ease to it. It's the latest DB25 case back lug system and across the wrist 51 millimeters which is a nice sweet spot to fit a broad range of wrists. The timepiece fits well on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist and I can see this sitting well on a wrist as small as 14 centimeters circumference. The watch is not thick by any means. It's only 12.7 millimeters thick. Even though the case shape was inspired by a drum, it's anything but drum shaped or drum proportioned. Now the watch the watch has a broad stance. You can see that the lug spacing is extraordinary, even by broad lugged modern standards, 24 millimeters between. And I should clarify that these pieces, which have come to me by way of the factory, feature shipping straps, which is to say, these are not the straps you would receive with the watches. So this is calfskin. It would be alligator on both sides for the production piece. This is, however, the correct branded de Betun white gold pin buckle, which has a little bit of a profile that produces design parallelism as the Ogival end caps of the lugs, one of the original DB styling traits from 2002, actually endure, and they have their parallel signatures in the form of the buckle. The timepiece with a strong case band, a minimalist case band, it's the junction of the lugs with the case, the case back with the mid case, and the domed bezel with the mid case that gives the case its definition and its horizontal strength. You can see that the crown itself is an extraordinary piece as it's richly knurled with a knurled profile and then drillings inside the individual knurling and polished and domed on its outer face. There is a wonderfully elaborate perpetual calendar on the dial side, and it uses my favorite combination of apertures and pointer date to express its perpetual calendar status. Monday, February 25th, for example, easy to read as there is a wonderful balance to the dial. It's actually a cruciform symmetry. You could split it top to bottom or side to side and wind up with a symmetrical cut. It is true rose lathe guilloche. You can see that undulating rayon style splay from the center. That's created by a guilloche who uses a 19th century cam guided, cam operated rose lathe to cut this dial. He draws it freehand first and then he uses the engine to create the effect that you see here. There is a raised toroidal outer track featuring 60 minutes as well as stylized Roman numerals. And then up at 12 o'clock, you can see that there is the signature de Batun, 360 degree double hemisphere spherical moon face. So one side is actually blued steel, the other is white palladium. And then underneath you can see there is a leap year phase indicator. The hands at center are blued foy or leaf style. And then you turn it all over and you have caliber 2324. And this is an interesting piece because it features a lot of in-house tech and an elaborate combination of white gold, rhodium plated brass and blued titanium. Let's start with the basics. You're noticing that cap on the center of the rotor. That is a shock protection system originally patented by the DB folks back in 2006. It uses a combination of those three prong springs with contact jewels to reduce the stiction as well as to brace the immense rotor against shocks at its center. Now just below that you can see there is a white gold ring with a radial graining. It has a brushed radial dressage executed on its surfacing. The remainder of the rotor is all in blued titanium and it's a unidirectional winding system which is inherently more efficient than a bidirectional system. The triple parachute shock protection is proprietary and you can see it's executed with a shock protection spring that caps both sides of the balance bridge. Balance bridge already excellent for stabilizing a balance wheel against shock. You have shock protection on each side and then you have Inca block shock protection for the balance staff. The balance is made in-house by the company. It's a combination of 
white gold outboard with a titanium center and the hairspring which you can just see underneath the balance breathing is a sort of off-center dog leg profile also patented in-house back in 2006 that allows the hairspring to breathe concentrically in any orientation it is centered with its mass perfectly equal side to side like a breguet overcoil but it is not vulnerable or delicate like an overcoil. Though you can't see it, there is also a silicon balance wheel that allows the system to operate long term with very little parasitic drag over time, unlike a conventional metal on ruby stone escapement. This is a very consistent system over long term. And you'll also note that the movement is simply stunning. It has twin mainspring barrels. You can actually see the pivot jewel for each one under a explosive and differentially finished surfacing. The twin mainspring barrels endowing this automatic winder with a five-day power reserve. Substantial autonomy for a watch with a power-intensive complication. And it doesn't use a low beat rate to achieve that as the watch beats weigh at standard 28,800 vibrations per hour. 30 meters water resistant. This is not an aquatic watch, but believe it or not, Debatun now has aquatic watches 105 meters water resistant in the DB28 Grand Sport family. This is not necessarily for those times. This is a high and dry, high flyer, beautifully executed inside and out with the most practical of complications, the calendar, paired with the most romantic of complications, the moon phase. See it and make it yours on Debatun.com or GovbergWatches.com where we are an authorized vendor and would love to talk DB. But wait, there's more. We have the De Batun DB25 Contium Perpetuel in rose gold with an extraordinary black rose lathe dial. I want to emphasize that for almost every model, the company makes several variations. So you can find that sweet spot of material, color, dial composition that will soothe the soul and accompany the wrist to the ends of the earth any day, any month any year, even the leap year. That's what a perpetual calendar is all about. Identically powered to the DB25 QP we saw just a moment ago. This one is just a little bit warmer, a bit more tropical. This one is the Miami Beach companion to the White Gold's New York or Chicago.